In machine vision, the combination of line-by-line -line image capture and high-speed movement makes it very difficult to provide enough lighting to achieve a bright enough exposure. One way to solve this issue without having to resort to extremely bright, expensive, and potentially damaging lighting is to use a camera feature called binning. In a line scan application where images are captured one line at a time, the exposure period can be extremely short. As a result, the sensor pixels may only be able to capture a small amount of light, resulting in a dark image with details that are hard to see. To better understand how binning can be utilized in a line scan camera, let's look at the operation of one of JAI's cameras. Here, we will be using the JAI 4K Trilinear Line Scan Camera, the SW4000TL, with 4096 pixels resolution. This camera creates an image using three sensor lines, each with red, green, or blue filters, and combines them digitally into a single line of RGB output. The base pixels on each line are square, with a size of 7.5 by 7.5 microns. If we point this camera at a rapidly moving roll with printed currency, we can see that with binning turned off and our exposure time set to be fast enough to avoid any motion blur, our pixels are unable to capture enough light during the exposure period. The image is dark and the details are not discernible. Fortunately, the JAI Trilinear camera is equipped with a binning function. In addition, the camera's sensor features an architecture that has two adjacent lines for each color for a total of six lines. This means the binning function can be configured to provide binning in the horizontal direction, 2x1, a vertical direction, 1x2, or both directions, 2x2. Two two. If we rerun our test with the 2x2 two two binning function turned on, we can change our effective pixel size to 15x15 15 15 microns. With this larger pixel area, we can capture four times the amount of light at the same line rate in lighting conditions, which results in a bright, usable image. Provided the reduced resolution of 2048 pixels per line is acceptable for our field of view, pixel binning solves our lighting challenge without compromising our throughput. JAI's prism-based line scan cameras take this binning feature even further. Like all prism cameras, they have a separate sensor for each color. Each of these sensors has a total of four lines, two lines with 7.5 by 7.5 micron square pixels and two more lines with 7.5 by 10.5 micron rectangular pixels. There is no gap between the individual lines, so this makes it possible to read the square or rectangular pixels in either a single or dual line mode. This structure lets you create eight different pixel sizes or shapes by utilizing horizontal binning, vertical binning, or a combination of horizontal and vertical binning. The combined horizontal and vertical binning can provide a pixel size of 15 by 15 microns or 15 by 21 microns, depending on whether square or rectangular pixel lines are selected. These are among the largest pixel sizes you can find in the line scan industry, providing exceptional flexibility to support applications with a demanding line rate, sensitivity, and shutter time requirements. For this demonstration, we will be using the Sweep Series SW4000Q 4K Prism Line Scan Camera for testing. Here, we will be capturing an image of a paper poster. As you can see, the image shown now is not bright enough for us to perform good visual inspection. Take note in our settings that we have preset the image width at 4096 pixels and the height at 1,800 pixels to capture our rectangular region of interest. Now, we will use the pixel binning function to increase the size of our pixels to capture more light while maintaining our conveyor speed and exposure time. For this example, we will be using the 2x2 two two binning function to see the outcome. First, we will set both the horizontal and vertical binning at 2 respectively. This will enable us to perform a 2x2 two two binning both horizontally and vertically resulting in virtual pixels that are four times bigger for improved light sensitivity. Notice that when 2x2 two two binning is set, the number of pixels in the width is decreased to half automatically. Since they are twice as wide, they'll still cover the same area on the poster. As we have set the vertical binning to 2, our line height has doubled, 
but our conveyor speed remains the same. We need to reduce the line rate by half, from 1600 Hz to 800 Hz. Otherwise, our taller lines would overlap each other on the target. Finally, we will manually reduce the number of lines in our region of interest by half. This keeps the height of our region of interest on the poster the same as before. Once that is done, let's click on play to start the image capturing with 2x2 binning. We can now clearly notice that the image has become much brighter as compared to before due to the increased sensitivity of the 2x2 bin pixels. This wraps up our demonstration, which illustrates how pixel binning can be applied to increase image quality under low light conditions. For more information, visit our website at www.jai.com.